Step 2. Designate at-risk output cells. As mentioned in Step 1, outputs are the cells you are interested in analyzing. These are your bottom line cells. In this model, the output cells are the NPV and bonus cells. At-risk won't tell you exact or certain values for these outputs. This is impossible because the future cannot be predicted with certainty. However, as you will see in the results step, at-risk can report the probability of different values occurring for each output, and that information can help you make more informed decisions. At-risk can't just guess which cells are output cells. You have to designate them as such. But this is easy. To define the output cells in at-risk, select the cell with the value you want, such as NPV, click the Add Output button, type in the name of the output. This name is used in reports. Note that the formulas in these two output cells have changed. They now include the risk output function and a plus sign, which is at risk's way of indicating that this is an at risk output cell. Actually, the risk output function returns zero, so this addition to the formula doesn't change the cell's value. Now it's your turn. Stop this video and designate the NPV and bonus cells as at risk output cells.